<laughs> she throws it's a burble pile driver, King Salem. Major money, go into the Steam group, and then on the right hand side there'll be a blue button that says practice. join chat. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. It's funny because there's so many things that I would actually say in those situations and they never really give you that option. You're like, mm, I want to say this. I don't want to say that. I want to say this. Ethan made this for me. You guys have got seven minutes to type in exclamation G-O-T for a chance to win this game that I'm playing right now, Game of Thrones. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. What's up, Santos? How you doing, man? Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Dex. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Dex, so far it's good, man. Yeah, where does the where does the meat that those those soldiers eat come from? Is right, Bear Ripper. Do you know the feeling of seeing an epic non-follower coming from your salvage box and then figuring out it's a level 80 ring? Oh, yes. Notorious, I do. I got even worse. You ready for this, Notorious? I got an epic come from my salvage box. It was a item level 75 bracers. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me right now. So yes, I know that exact Wonders made feeling. Man. Notoriously. A, long strider. a gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. You guys got five more minutes. Five more minutes to type in the uh, the exclamation G O T. Make sure you guys are followers. Make sure you join the Steam group so I can send it over to you He's if landing. you win. What's up, Johan? Sunny at Ironrath today. Letter from Mother. Not Mother? It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. <laughs> she is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yeah, supposedly, notoriously, those are supposed to be really good transmogs. But everything, every time I've checked them, they've all sucked. But they're supposed to be transmog items. But every time I've like checked, like, oh, what is this gonna look like? I'm like, oh, it looks like garbage. Type exclamation info, wow. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Yeah, Nick's it got delayed again. Cash exclamation info. Modwin, this is the new Game of Thrones from Telltale Games. No, it's fine. Come in. Yeah, I've just been, most of them I've been vendoring. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. 
Is that Jess? I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? <laughs> they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Mm hmm Good night, my lady. Alright, killer ink. Mod, yeah, Modwin, uh... Supposedly 45 minutes from now. Lady Marjorie, Marjorie. you're Those early. boobies. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. Your face looks weird. There's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about... 43 minutes to delayed. Family. I feel 43 more minutes. As if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. You're welcome, my lord. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She is Revenant. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable. Knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Well, Kira, that's the item level for uh, LFR. But I would say I would say at least 620, 625. But yeah, there's no minimum. You can you can drag people along for. You'll be fine. I know you will. For uh, you gear, may feel one thing, if you want. But you must say another. Good luck. You can do this. Right. Wish me luck. It is our it is our cane. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. It will nexism. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. 
House Forester's loyalty to the Crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to so Dave Stark. A house of traitors. They are noble, not traitors, Your Grace. Oh, you northern girls tire me. Always quick to make your opinion known, with no thought or consideration for your proper place. Lady Mira is northern, Your Grace, and new to King's Landing and its politics. She speaks her mind, but means no offense, Your Grace. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl, but not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Yeah, I get not one boob so far in the game. I'll walk you out. I wish I could, Kib. Trust this me, I wish I could. Surprise, but I met your father once. At the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. 
to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. <laughs> Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Cam, it's very good. It's very good. So far we've played three different characters. Which is pretty awesome. We're gonna find out right now there, Bear Ripper. Alright, let's find out who won a copy of this game. Let's find out who our winner is. Drum roll, please. Winner of a copy of Game of Thrones. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta make sure we get everybody in here. Oops. Ah, okay. There we go. Nexism. Congratulations, Nexism. You were asking when the drawing was, and there you go. Nexism, I'll send you a private message through Twitch. You can reply back, and we'll get you your game, buddy. So, congratulations to Nexism. Yeah, for you guys that have been asking, this is Game of Thrones. It just came out today. This was like Ninja. This game came out of nowhere. This game was like announced, and then uh, like a few months later was ready, came out, all that shit. It's amazing how fast they got this game out and ready to go. I didn't even realize this game was coming out this week until last week. Last week, it's crazy. Telltale launched um, the Tales, Tales from the Borderlands last week. They launched this this week. Um, now we literally, we've got season three of The Walking Dead coming soon. We've got season two of The Wolf Among Us coming soon. And then we've now got these new series. We're literally going to have a new Telltale Games every two weeks pretty soon. It's going to be craziness. Uh, inside of the servers are still down. I can't play a game that's not live, my friend. So. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady yeah, Revenant, Marjorie imagine like you're all the old choose your own adventure books. It's kind of like that. Wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. It's true, Cash. <sighs> Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. <laughs> I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. It does, Rob. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only Soon, imagine noobs. what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey 
if it meant you'd become queen. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Have fun, Dave. Jack, it's Game Queen's of Thrones. landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always See someone true, to Olive. please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. It was the night after Christmas when all through the house, I, not a creature I was did have a favor to ask of you in return. The gift wrap was tattered, the house guests had fled. Whatever you wish to say, batteries already dead. The hell? Upstairs slept a girl and her new best friend, dreaming dreams of girlhood. And <sighs> say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Surely because the servers are still down. About my family. I trust her. Yeah, it's all good, man. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Dave, the show's really good, man. Oh god, I that hope not, no small request, especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Turley, it's just like the EU got uh, wad one Ramsey day before the US, so the no complaining. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. <laughs> Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. 
Well, look at it this way, Turley. All the bugs are, all the, all the kinks are getting worked out now for you guys. You guys will have a nice smooth launch. King's Road, Wolf's Road. Why weren't we riding the horse? Hours. Oh, this little bastard. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> no way he heard anything over that dude screaming. It's just not possible. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Turley, you could see all my all my highest level characters by typing exclamation armory. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Thanks, Mr. Michael. Glad I didn't run. <laughs> well, I have Pepe on my head. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe notoriously. Oh, this ought to be freaking gruesome as all hell. Mmm. Bloody hell. And scene. Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect? Dork, I have. I played it last week, yeah. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep 
trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Mason. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. The men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord. We must I want to see how it plays out, to be honest with you. I wanted to take I wanted to take his fingers. I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. But I want to see how this plays out. My debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a Lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. 
Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Your epic level 80 something bracer? Yeah, right. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. No, it's nothing. I just need to walk and clear my head. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. That I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. Your good <laughs> sounds heart is so bad. That is your true strength. Oh my god, that sounds my so bad. Fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland she is my mother. I'll be gentle. And will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She Not sure, Drito. Family above all else. Hopefully, Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. Exactly, Ron. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Oh, okay. Tell me. He is a you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish um, you did too. I sent pictures and video to my You've always kids. given me good uh, advice. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. Um, and uh, I told him too the gutters are full. So it's really not the gutters are full, so I said you'll have them. Okay. See that? By the way, I texted Alan to her and she's very excited. <laughs> She asked if you're relieved, and I said, "Oh no, no, we're dealing with leaks right now." Yeah. Good news, bad news scenarios. Okay. Yes. Them, yeah? <laughs> All right. I'll be back in a minute. Let me know. Okay. Jay, you know Jelena has impeccable timing. You know how this stuff works. Sword up. Swing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. A word. Of course. Yeah, Lord Bentner. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice.
What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord, but are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council <laughs> nice previous. to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengrin to do it at once. Exclamation BT, immortal. How did they decide to put him? You're all worthless and weak. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yeah, Emo, we'll see how it plays out, buddy. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay's snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. He sure does, Mac. What's up, Cross-Eyed? How you doing, bud? How was the stream last night? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. You make a fool of me, my lord. You as much as promised it to me earlier. That's quite enough. The matter is settled. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. 
You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and yes, you will Yes, you offer them the wood decision. now while you still continue to train your soldiers in the back. Oh, I hate when you don't have multiple decisions. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the iron wood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your Sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. This is definitely one of those games I could see replaying through with different... trying different decisions. My Lord, you have named your Sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck 
That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... <laughs> how about her? I'll start My lady, I'll leave you to talk. I just want to... I just want into my garrison, damn it. Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. I wish brainwashed. Uh, 250 work orders is level 3 professions for all your Please. characters across the account. Begging your pardon, my lady. 
I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't ass. this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank you, Warden no, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this! Look at you! A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the Foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. More Foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. 
The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan! They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here! Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, <laughs> no! What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your war. No! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. 
Somebody help him! Fetch the mace, sir, quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please, stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let it go! Stop that! No, please! Quietly! Stop it! Let me go! No. Do something! Ethan? There were so many things that you want to do while that's happening. It's very difficult, Blue76, for me to talk, because I could talk over the entire story while you guys are watching it, but you guys wouldn't hear any of the dialogue, so what's the point of me talking over the dialogue? Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not like. stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? I've wanted to kill Ramsey since the first freaking day I met him. Oh, douche. Servers are up. I know, I see you guys all saying that the servers are up. Alright, let's get out of here. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I have to say, if you guys if you guys love Telltale games, that's a good one. That's very it's very well written. I definitely could play that at least at least one more time, possibly even twice, depending upon decisions. It's uh it's a good one. It is a good one. <laughs> 